everyone. This is Group Red. Um, I'm Michelle. I'm Carolyn. I'm Nick. I'm Isaiah. And this is our Cook Library redesign. In the front here, we have a front garden space. There are flowers here to encourage learners into the learning commons and to blend the library into its natural environment. To the right, we have the Kirsch Gallery. So we expanded the Kirsch Gallery to have an art studio where visiting artists can um, do work. So now we're entering our library. Oh, here is our circulation desk where you can check in and out of books. And we have a book drop. And to the other side is our printer area, which allows easy access. Um, here in the center area, we have the center space. It's pretty similar to our current center space, except we have a lot of different size group tables to encourage discussions for, and discourse between different size groups. We have whiteboards so that students can really um, visualize their learning. And we have teacher's desks on the side so teachers can come in and help students out. Um, behind the teacher's desk, we have our bookshelves. Because this is a learning commons, we really wanted to um, encourage uh, students to work and we push the bookshelves off to the side. However, the bookshelves are still an important part of our learning, so we wanted to make it really accessible for students. In the back of this library, we have the silence section. The silence section is for pretty similar to our current silence section. Um, students who want to work silently, who really um, need the quiet, yeah. Um, and get away from the noise and the distraction so that they can work. We have a group area in the back of the library. Um, in the corner, there's a checkout desk where students can check out beanbag chairs and exercise balls so that the students can choose the type of seating that they find most comfortable. It's not cramped, it's comfortable, it's intimate. Um, there are beanbag niches for casual and comfortable uh, learning. We have a maker space. Um, it replaces the science section area and it provides materials for creative thinkers to flourish in a separate area that's more focused on arts and crafts and electronic creations. Teachers and assistants help out with um, students writing. It's closer to the maker space and it's kind of isolated from the group area to reduce noise and distractions. So on the side we have the computer lab, which is more or less the same as the computer lab uh, we have now, uh, or computer and language lab, but smaller because it doesn't seem like it sees a lot of use. And then we have a cafe space, which takes up the front half of where the language lab used to be because there are separate stairs up to that area, so it can be separate while still being part of the learning commons. Down below are two, eating er are two outside eating areas where faculty and students can hang out with each other while eating and drinking. We have an outside space so that people can eat, socialize, or work uh, in the presence of nature is also why there are all the nice flowers around. Uh, it also makes the back side of Cook a little more welcoming. So this is our Cook Library redesign. Uh, thank you for watching. We really think that this learning commons can be a great learning environment for students. Um, and there are fireworks right now to celebrate our wonderful learning commons. Thank you.